Mm-hmm. Chocolate chip muffins. Chocolate chip muffins. Hmm. Mm. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, these are so good. Mm. But you know what's even better than a chocolate chip muffin? A chocolate chip muffin on Shark Sunday Survival! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new Sunday. I mean, like every time Sunday rolls around, I am so excited because I already know that the Shark Sunday Survival episode is coming out. I'm always very excited to see what you guys have to think of the episodes. I, I just think Sundays are officially my favorite day of the week. Actually, no, I take that back because then the next day is Monday. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to, well, our unnamed location. Um, we need to name this place. I, we have Sharkville and the unknown. We can call this the unknown for now. That's a good name. Well, last week we had Unspeakable come and visit us here. If you guys haven't seen that episode, here's a quick recap. You know, I kind of thought it might be an even better idea. We could possibly uh, build a- Wait. Oh, wait. Nathan? All right, Shark, this is the house. What do you think? So here lies Nathan's house. And uh, while I need to double check that none of the villagers have messed with it yet. Making sure that everything is here A-OK -okay for the good old unspeakable. Everything looks good. So I was reading through the comments in the last video. Number one, no, I didn't forget. Today's shout out goes to this person. Congrats to you. You guys already know how it goes. Find this shark emoji in today's video. I'll be picking one of you guys on Tuesday to get a shout out. When you see the shark emoji, all you guys got to do is drop a comment down below the timestamp. Congrats to today's shout out winner. Hey, whoa, 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 hold on. I have one more thing, okay? Literally... Something big is happening tomorrow, and if you guys haven't entered already, well, you're really missing out on literally a free giveaway. So tomorrow, the giveaway ends for the brand new Xbox One. All you guys got to do if you want to go and enter is go on Instagram, go and follow at Shark Merch. You guys can go to the most recent photo, and you need to tag three friends in that post, and I'll be picking one of you guys on October 1st, which if you're watching this on Sunday, that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow! I'll be picking one of you guys, and somebody's going home with a sign. Brand new Minecraft Xbox. Ah, Philip! Did you want the Xbox? Oh, Philip, you are so silly because you cannot play Xbox. That is not what birds can do. Well, ladies and gentlemen, nonetheless, moving on. So in today's video, I saw a comment from, from a person named Fire Girl, and they gave me the idea to build a birdhouse for Philip, which, oh my gosh, that isn't a great, that's a great idea. Philip, you have been flying for probably three weeks in Minecraft time. I'm going to put you inside of this house and now, well, you need to stay here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Philip, stay. Go to sleep. You know, I thought that was a great idea. We should definitely build some sort of birdhouse for Philip. I mean, I guess what this whole point, this was here, but it, now it's just really ugly. As a matter of fact, why don't we, we need to come up with some sort of purpose for this room. At this point, I don't even want it to be a farm. So we got to change something up here. Oh, villager, what in the world are you doing? I have a lead somewhere, don't I? Now, last time I checked, I believe, yes. Okay, I did have a ton of sand, but I thought I had a lot of them smelted. No, okay. While we wait for the sand to smelt, we might as well just start building out the parameter of the birdcage. Oh my God. I clearly did not put a door. Yeah, I need to definitely close off this door. Back to your beds. Everybody to the beds. Go. What don't you get? Get off the ladder. This guy's trying his hardest to swim as fast as he can. Good child. <laughs> All right, bird cage. I'm thinking the bird cage should go right about over here. This is a nice spot for it. Now, one thing I want to do and I want to make sure of, I really want to take pride in this one. I want to make sure that the birdcage doesn't look like a horrible mess that was built by yours truly. I want it to actually look really good and have like some style and like actually make it look pretty and, and good. Yes, I know it's something I don't usually do. So we're all we're breaking boundaries today, guys. <laughs> Well, uh, I might as well get some logs. The one problem I am well aware of that we are currently having where we're living. Well, it's not really a problem where we're living, but it's mainly just I haven't gotten it. And that's why we have zero wood. We have plenty of cobblestone from the mining adventures we went on. So, but the, we just didn't have enough wood. I feel like we need to just stock up on wood and we literally, we won't have to get it for a very long time. How much wood? That's 20 logs? Okay, that's, I mean, that's decent. I want a little more. I really want to just be able to have enough wood for a while where we're not going to have to worry. You know, every time I feel my, my game starting to lag a little bit, I'm worried. 
There are so many ocelots spawning. I don't know if that's because the village is here because I thought kittens or cats, just regular ones were supposed to spawn. But either way, I think we should tame a cat soon enough whenever I feel more confident in, in being a, a, a good parent. But for now, the birdcage is what we will need to do. All right, yes, this should be plenty. No, no sitting outside. Hey, where are you going? Get on my shoulder. Come here. Thank you. Who opened the door? Was it you? Don't open the door for Philip. You understand? Philip needs to wait in here. He doesn't have a home. All right, Philip. Now stay here. Philip's so angry with me right now. I'm sorry, okay? All right, Gollum, you must stay there, okay? You can't, you can't be venturing off over here. So this is where the birdcage should be. So let's make a little bit of a perimeter outlining where we're going to have the cage. I'm thinking we can kind of have it follow the farm. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Let's line it up on this side. Okay, no, yeah. I just want to make sure they're equal. I really don't want to build this whole thing and then realize that they're uneven. Okay. <laughs> Not trying to do that. Water time. Okay, now this. This looks like a pretty decent size. <laughs> this is a huge birdcage. Our end goal here is to get like an absurd amount of birds in here. We are making quite a bit of space for this place. So I'm anticipating to have a lot of occupants staying within our cage. Imagine how cool that would be seriously to have like every color bird and every color or to have every color bird inside of this cage like we could have there's so many like there's so many types of color birds that they have in minecraft i just feel like that'd be so be beautiful so beautiful okay well i do know i have tons of glass here and i've seen your comments a lot of you guys have been wanting me to do some sort of underwater aquarium so i feel like that is just an awesome idea but before we do that i need to make a shovel Okay, so we have a shovel now. Uh, so we need to break, or we, well, we need to lower this here. So let's lower the level here. Okay, because what I'm thinking for this is, well, this whole area will be like an area for the birds. It'll be like one big room, but I want to design it really nicely and make it look really, really good. Uh, but I want it to go under the water so you can actually see through and see into, well, underneath in the house over there where you can see all the squid and all the fish. Oh my gosh, so much sand. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, let's get the first layer of glass in. Now, seriously, the next thing we need to do, we literally don't have any sponge. So we just need to, well, we need to do it the good old fashioned way, guys. And we need to, well, absorb this entire, well, we pretty much need to just absorb all this water and then break all the cobblestone that we used to absorb it. So uh, yeah, well, that's fun. Oh my gosh, man. RIP to my pickaxe. <laughs> this is so rough. You know, I, I definitely could have used sand for all this and not cobblestone. I, I don't know why I, I didn't because now I just need to mine this out. All right, here it is. This is going to be the bird cage. So first off, we are, well, I am going to go back to the house and grab all the sand that has been smelting this whole time. I really hope that this is going to be enough. So in case it's not, I'm going to go ahead and throw some more sand just to start smelting. Also, quick note. Some of you guys were saying, well, Shark, this is obviously uh, the portal you made. It's kind of cheating to go to the nether that way. I just want you guys to know that I don't intend to go to the nether through that portal. It was just kind of a... That's Unspeakable's portal. We must go get Obsidian legit and then go to the nether because going through that portal would be cheating. And I mean, it, I would just cut corners and be able to just like get a whole lot more stuff. When in reality, I need to go get some Obsidian. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was... Uh, well, that glass went by really fast. All right, so check this out. We are going to have uh, a two block high layer of glass. Oh, nope. I got an even cooler idea. Actually, no, no. Yeah, so we'll keep doing this. So hear me out on this, okay? Um, Let's have a two block layer of glass like this. Now, if I go back... Oh my gosh, there's only eight. You know what? Why, why haven't we done this already? I don't know why. There we go. Let's just cut this time down a whole lot more here. Okay, perfect. Oh no, the night is falling. So we should be able to get at least the walls of the bird. I'm going like, I'm going really hard trying to make sure that this bird cage is, well, it's more than just a bird cage. It's for Philip. It is Philip's bird cage. He's going to be the king of this bird cage. And whoever, whatever birds come after us must listen to Philip. Um, and boom, the door can be right there. So check this though. Attention to detail. Let's put sand all around the bottom here, just like that. I don't even think the bamboo is going to grow properly there, but I mean, let's, let's try it. Sugar cane's not going to work because there's a block beside it. Um, 
But I feel like we could just add some cool things down here just for it to be, uh, well, a little bit more pretty. I want to make sure all this is even just so we don't have to go back and fix it later. All right. This is coming to a completion. I really, really, oh my God. It's uneven. That's a little awkward. I forgot where I put my bird. It's okay. Don't worry. Oh, how did you get on my shoulder? That, no, this is not funny, Philip. This is not a joke. Okay, fine. Well, seeing as you're with me, Philip, I want to show you your new home. Yes, I know. It is pretty crazy. Philip, feel free to take a look around. I'm finalizing your ceiling. And once this is done, my friend, you will be able to... Well, you will be able to live in here. And yeah, it's done. Wait, I want to do something cool. Seeing as we have extra glass, we might as well... Philip, wait! Did you already fly in there? Oh my gosh, you just flew right in there! Look how happy you are, Philip. Do you like it or do you like it? Yo, this is the new base. We'll put a crafting table. I know it's a little dark. Here, we'll put some torches down just to make it feel a little bit more welcoming. We're gonna need to make a door. And we need to do one more thing before we can open this up fully. So we have a door here as normal. But we also need a little bit of a security door as well. Just in case a villager happens to leave one open. Or who knows? Something happens. We're going to have another door right here. And we'll surround this with glass. So we'll be able to see if any birds happen to be inside of this door. Oh my gosh. There we go. We got the house. Yes, I know, Philip. This is a very big deal. This is a very exciting moment for the both of us. Wow. That looks so cool. I know you guys have asked so many times for me to build something, um, well, something for Philip and a tree house. You guys have asked for that one a lot. And I know I was said I was, we were going to go to the ne nether. <clears throat> you know, as a matter of fact, we could totally go to the nether. Uh, I just, well, you see, I'm just really lazy. Um, but if we wanted to make another portal, well, I'll show you a fast way. So all we got to do is, well, let's head out into the wilderness for just a second here. Oh my gosh. There's so many kittens here. And now let's just take a bunch of a lava. Oh, okay. So we have um, a bunch of lava with us. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, these cats are definitely spawning from those villagers then. They, like we have a lot of them now. Okay, um, let's build the other portal. Well, let's build the nether portal directly beside this one. Okay, so what we need to do now is... We will need to put a, um, a water bucket right here. And then, boom. Oh, yes. This is my favorite way of making a portal. Water bucket, boom. <laughs> water bucket, water bucket, water bucket. Boom. 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 All right, let's fill up these buckets with some more lava. Just need to get a little bit more lava, and then we should be good. We're going to drain this whole pool of lava here soon enough. Not going to lie. I was really not looking forward to running through a cave looking for obsidian. So honestly, I'm a lot more happier with doing this. This is just this is a unique way. All right. Water, lava, water. Wait, wait, whoa. I just want to make sure. Hold up. Okay. Yep. No. Water, lava. What? I'm building another portal. Can't you see? Yes, I know. This is a very unique way of doing this. Villagers. <laughs> All right. And that should be the final block. One, two. And now we got that. And oh, no. No. Come on, dude. Like, why? Can't you make custom sized portals anyways? But I know they have to be like... That one's not going to work is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. I thought this was going to be so satisfying because I literally had the perfect amount of lava left. Who's that? <laughs> Philip, that better not be you. <laughs> Why did you leave the cage? Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, it looks like the diamonds that Nathan found for me, I might just have to waste them on a pickaxe. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to do it. This is so sad. All right. That's okay. Hey, diamond pickaxe. Come on. That's pretty hype. Let's go. We have our first pickaxe here, which, well, I'm pretty happy about that. And we made it to destroy this piece of obsidian. <laughs> yes, let's go. Boom, water, lava. There we go. Our nether portal is ready. All I need to do now is grab the flint and steel. I'll throw all these away. Flint and steel should be in... 
Where'd the flint still go? Well, I can't find the flint, so it looks like we're gonna need to get some. The good old fashioned way. Come on. Give me flint. Come on, please. Thank you, there we go. Da dee da dee da dee da. Yes, we got the nether portal. Let's go. Ooh, well, I see Philip is over there. Or, sorry. Philip number two is over there. So I'm going to grab some seeds in hopes to introduce him to possibly the birdcage. Might as well just plant these all back up. All right. I see you. Philip. The fake Philip. Come here. Hello. How are you today? Look, I got way too many seeds. All right. You're, you're coming home with me. Told you. Yeah. All right. Look, man. I have a steal of a deal for you. You got to come with me. Look, what if I told you I could bring you to the world's most beautiful home? Yeah, no scam. I'm being legit right now. He said, what? <laughs> Come this way, please. Come over here to the bird cage. Okay, just get on my shoulder. Come on, let's make it easier. Thank you. <laughs> Philip, I would like for you to meet your new companion. They're matching. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. Well... I officially have, um, well, quite a bit of seeds, so taming any bird should not be a problem anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made some pretty good progress in today's episode. We got the birdcage going. We got the nether portal going as well. Done legit. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that leaves us in the next episode to not only go to the nether, but also make some upgrades around the village and adding more animals to the birdcage and even in the village. At some point, I want to turn some of the jungle trees around us here into a couple houses that we could use. Even as a tree house, I feel like that'd be really neat. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys all so much for watching today's episode of the Shark Sunday Survival. For any of those that are curious, guys, I mean, hey, if you watch all the way to the end of this video, as the time of you watching this, at the time of you watching this, I'm actually in the middle of moving right now. So this is like, this video was kind of pre-recorded. But if you guys are interested to see how the move is going or you want to know anything about that, go check out my Instagram at Zernine I'll be sure to be posting some stories and some pictures and all that stuff to show you guys kind of how everything's going on. Maybe if you guys want me to do a vlog when we get moved in and settled into the new place, uh, I, I would totally be down to do it. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. This video took like, oh my gosh, this is probably one of the longer ones, but I had a lot of fun and I think you guys did too. Ladies and gents, have a safe and fantastic rest of your day and well, I'll catch you guys. I'll catch you guys on Tuesday with a brand new video. Take care.